Kayla Cook went right around Laney and weak side help big time from Lee. Richardson takes it right to the rim. And that's how you play perfect transition offense with your point guard leading the way. Doing a good job with the smooth handle, but it starts on defense. Chelsea Lee slides over for the block. And right here we get to take a good look at the point. Coaches love it when you score easy off inbounds plays. Laney looking down low and threw the ball way too low. Popper had to go down to her ankles to get it and shuffles it inside to Lee. Cook mix up in communications and Cincinnati turns it over. Here's Laney waiting for some help. Lobs it down low. Tough catch by Copper. The Big East Conference maintains a comprehensive site on the World Wide Web at www.bigeast.org. Log on for all information on all Big East sports, including women's basketball scores, highlights, news. Turner gets her first basket of the night. She was very intense as a player. Had to kind of keep that intensity, at least during games within, in her 12 years as an assistant coach. And then we see it again now as a head coach. On the spin move, Monique Oliver, who has battled injury issues all season. 6'4", Dunn is Cincinnati's biggest player. She's been very inconsistent, and it's been the source of some frustration for her head coach. Popper with the miss, misses the putback, and then Oliver cleans up. Another screen set by Oliver. Richardson. Tough shot with time running down on the shot clock. Way to attack a team that really overplays on defense is that backdoor cut. And Cincinnati prepped for that, and they're just doing a good job of executing it. Conversely, Rutgers wants to pound it inside, and Oliver finishes, cleaning up her own miss. Rebound, Oliver lost it for a moment, then Richardson hits Laney on the open floor. Cross court to Oliver. How about the big girl catching it on the run? Does it look like her ankle hurts very much? So Rutgers with a, a big lineup on the floor now with Holloway and Oliver. Laney tries to go baseline and gets to the basket. Nice footwork, couldn't finish. Here's Richardson who got a step on Love it. And she is quick. Richardson, Wheeler for three. Great screen by Chelsea Lee. That's not something that's going to show up on a stat sheet, but set a perfect screen to set up Wheeler for that three-pointer. Took the Scarlet Knights 25 minutes to get their first three. Back-to-back -back turnovers in the backcourt by the Bearcats. Richardson can't hit, but she'll draw the foul and shoot a couple. The foul will be on Durley, and that. Absolutely. If you, the problem with playing a zone is that you don't have a man to match up with. So in the zone, you have an area. So for boxing out purposes, it can wreak havoc for your team. Syacens Davis with the drive to the goal and the foul. Rebound Richardson. Three on two for the Scarlet Knights. And that nine-point lead is gone. Laney from the foul line. Oliver. Laney. And Rutgers beats it easily. Down low Oliver, fakes, and lays it in. Rutgers attacked beautifully. Well, Frank Sinatra once sang a tune, Chicago is my kind of town. See Vivian Stringer hopes Tuesday night, Chicago is her kind of town. That's where she will go for career win number 900. She gets number 899 with the win over Cincinnati today. So with the victory, Rutgers goes to 14-8, and 5-4 in the Big East. Cincinnati slips to 8-15, 0-10 in the league.